everyone and welcome back to Fresh Fit and Healthy YouTube. So as you know, I just went to California and as I was traveling to California and then back to Florida, I picked up some travel tips that I just wanted to share with all of you guys. So here are my top 10, 10, here are my top 10 tips when flying anywhere. Number one, sounds simple, but make sure you somehow identify your luggage. I always put a little orange ribbon on my luggage because everyone has a big black suitcase. So I identify mine with an orange little ribbon and a little gator name tag I got as a student athlete that says Sarah on it. Number two, check in online before you even go to the airport. That will save you hours in line, or at least minutes. When possible, walk anywhere you can in the airport. You can get a lot of exercise just by walking and not taking the tram or those little speed walkway things. But next tip is when you do have to take the tram, make sure to hold onto the railings like they tell you to. Just do it. Just from experience, just do it because you will fly backwards or forwards. Talking about exercising by walking, you can also exercise in other ways in the airport. Yes, I did get some stairs for that one. Next tip, make sure you bring some healthy snacks. But be careful because you don't want to bring ones that smell too strongly in any way. Like my sriracha peas. It smelled up the entire area around me and I had to close the bag. And also bringing healthy snacks like this will help prevent eating those snacks that they give you on the plane that aren't so fresh, fit, or healthy. Or at least eat less of those not fresh, fit, or healthy snacks. Next tip, bring a water bottle, but an empty one. Why, you might say? Because you can't bring a full water bottle through security, but you can bring an empty one and then fill it up at the water fountain when you get through security. So that's what I do, I bring an empty water bottle, or better yet, bring a full one and chug it before security. Hydration is key. Next tip, bring something to do on the plane or read or anything because you don't wanna get stuck doing what some people have to do and that's reading that lovely Southwest Airlines magazine. Next tip, pretty simple, self-explanatory, common sense, but dress comfy because you're not gonna meet the love of your life in the airport. Or, I mean, I would guess you wouldn't. I don't know, I guess you can meet them anywhere. But, dress comfy, you don't wanna be cold. And, next tip following that, bring a sweater because if you are gonna dress at least semi-cute for the airport, you're gonna be freezing in the airplane. And whether it's putting that sweater on or using it as a pillow in the plane, you'll be happy that you brought it. And last tip of the day, get the entire row to yourself. How do you do that? Step one, you pick a row that is clearly empty before you sit in it. And then step two, make the row look like it's full even if it's not. AK, put something there to make it look like other people are already sitting there. AK, I don't know, my legs, your legs. So there are my top 10 tips next time you are flying. In the comments below, tell me your tips for flying. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Until next time guys, bye.